can't believe we're finally getting married. We've had quite an adventure so far with lots of ups, plenty of downs, but it's only made us better and stronger. And I'm excited to see what's in store for our future because I've learned that life can be pretty unpredictable. We've been through thick and thin together and together we have both grown, learned how to compromise. Over the years, I have come to understand that you understand me like no one else. I would like to thank all of you for joining us here for the special celebration with Mike and Joyce. If you're at this wedding, you know the drill. But there's a lot I didn't know 10 years ago. I didn't know that it would take me almost the entire 10 years to get married. I couldn't have imagined that I'd be back in school and living on the other side of the country. And I definitely didn't expect to be marrying the person who I almost refused to date because I said we were totally going to be BFFs. I mean, we are still BFFs. It's just that now we get to be husband and wife too. promise to be selfless in our relationship because you always tell me I'm your priority and I promise just to love you because if we have even half the love that you have given me we'd have more than enough for a lifetime so in five months on the 10 year anniversary of the bed I can tell that friend with confidence that who's in charge of this marriage doesn't matter because our relationship is great and we make each other happy but mostly because I think you already lost a bet bro Damn. You stood by me through all the highs and lows. The highs have been always great and memorable, and some of the lows have been, well, pretty shitty. Irregardless of the situation, you have always stood by me. So I promise to always stand by your side and to support you through hell or high waters, the good, the bad, to care for you and to love you for life. For life. They take care of each other and they're extremely loving and I couldn't be where I am today without them. In a toast to Mike and Joyce.